Hello, Dr. Badijo here. I'm going to show you real quickly how to align two chunks in Agisoft Metashape and then merge two chunks in Agisoft Metashape. So we're going to first align two chunks and then merge them. So the two chunks I'm going to align um, are actually this top and bottom chunk that I have listed here. Uh, your screen may not look the same as mine. You may just actually only have top and bottom or something that says chunk one, chunk two. Uh, but just ignore the other chunks that are here and focus in on these two for this specific video. So I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, turn off my little flags here because that's from my marker palette. And that way we can see our model. And as you can see, I have stuff on the bottom of this model. And then when I double click to activate the bottom chunk, I've got stuff over here wait for it there we go um, I've actually cut it away on this chunk um, so that it's not there but it's not complete you know we don't actually have the top we just have the bottom nice and and rendered so and I've rendered both halves the top and bottom all the way up to texture as you can see here I've got all the way up to texture done and that's necessary for this process of using a marker based alignment so I'm gonna go back to our top there we go and for a marker-based alignment, you have to find at least three or more distinctive points on your model that can be identified on both the top chunk and the bottom chunk. So you have to find places that are going to be easy to find. So for instance, I've got three of these little critters here. I'm going to put a little point right here in the center. Um, the way to do that is to actually go ahead and right click with your mouse and hit add marker. Now nothing has showed up here. And the reason why is because we need to actually click on our little flags to visualize the markers. See, when I click that, it says point one. And if I go to the reference pane, I can see point, point one is right there. And the rest of these targets are the auto-generated targets from my marker palette. But we're just gonna focus here on point one. Um, now that I have point one on this um, let's see, top version or top chunk, I'm going to go ahead and switch to the bottom and find the same point. So double click to activate the next chunk. There it is. Um, I'm going to go ahead and select that middle point there, add marker. And it also says point one. This is really important to make sure that your points correspond on either chunk. So here I have my point one and all the other market palette auto gen points. But then if I were to switch back to the top, I'm also looking at point one right here in the center. Okay. And now I'm going to want to actually select a different air, a different side of the 3d model for my next point. So let's go ahead and do this. Let's, let's do, it's got to be something that shows up on both halves, so probably somewhere here in this midsection. Um, how about this little guy here? So let's choose, if this was right side up, this would be the, what, the left side of the mouth. So I'm going to right click, add marker, that's point two on the left side of the mouth if it was facing right side up. So I'm going to double click here and do the same thing. So this might be a little more difficult on yours as it might not be aligned. In mine, it actually shows that they're more or less aligned in 3D space. But if for some reason, you switch back and forth between chunks and it's hard to find the model, don't forget that you can go to any of your photos over here, right click and hit look through, and it brings your model into view. Um, also, a little... Uh, something to note that makes navigation a little bit easier. If you sw switch back and forth and things are kind of off kilter and the model's actually in the frame, go ahead and double click the model and it centers it into the little tumble uh, ball here. So that's just kind of to help you out. So uh, what, where was I? Let's see. I had just, that's point one and point two is actually over here on this side, over on this guy's uh, mouth. And I've already put those two. Uh, we need one more point, one more point. Let's, I know, let's do this corner here. Ooh, well, that might be too far below. 
Ah, let's do this right at the bottom of this little uh, black smudge there. So go to the next one. So on the top side, there it is. Yep, the same black smudge actually does show up. Um, and I would have to make sure that I, I'm on the correct side of the, the vessel before committing to this point. Right click and add marker. Okay, so now we have at least three points. Um, they're fairly well distributed. And so with these three, I should be able to run an alignment between the two, uh, the two chunks. So I'm going to make sure everything else is clicked off here and just have the three points that I'm going to be aligning on marked off. Come up here to workflow, which you're used to coming here for the rest of your workflow. And actually below this line are the two things that work with merging your chunks. So first we align chunks. The dialog comes up here. If you have any other chunks that are on this um, in this little list, unclick the ones you're not working with and just have the ones clicked off that you are going to be aligning. Then you have to go here where it says method and make sure that you are doing a marker based alignment. And then once that's all set, everything else should gray out and just hit OK. Should be fairly quick because it's just using your markers. Um, and then what we can do is visualize to see if we indeed did get these to align well. So this button here will visualize the two chunks, two chunks together. There we are. And so there's a lot going on on your screen sometimes when you're doing this. In order to reduce that, my advice is to click off the little flags um, and try to visualize it together this way. And Sure enough, it looks like that bottom is right in where it's supposed to go. So it looks good. Okay, check all sides and even the little handles. Handles look okay. There's a little bit of weird overlap going on here. And if I really wanted to, what I could do is spend a little bit of time um, putting some more points on there and improving my alignment of the two chunks. But just for this demo, we're going to leave it at, as is. Um, and now, before we're ready to merge the two chunks, we can do some editing here. So currently, I'm on the top chunk, and I want to get rid of all the stuff here on the bottom that's just a mess. So I know we have a good amount of overlap, so I can pretty much cut away everything from here and above. My advice would be actually to, if you ran a dense cloud, I would go back to your dense cloud and slice it at the dense cloud. Right. So I've already done it here, where you see that I've, I've taken off the rest of the, the model. Um, but if you don't know how to do it, just grab your little selection tool, go in there, and just delete. Hit the delete button after you've selected everything, and it'll remove a bunch of those points. And so all I have is the top portion that I really want to keep. So when I switch to the bottom, looks like my bottom chunk is there. I had already sliced it before, but Remember, I can slice some more since I've got a lot of that overlap. So I'll go ahead and just slice all of that off. Boom. Now, in the dense cloud, since I have both things kind of cleaned up and sliced, if I visualize these two things together, you should see a whole pot. So you can see this whole ceramic vessel now in 360 view. Um, at this point, you can spend a little time cleaning up if you want to. Uh, looks like I actually have another chunk floating out there scaled um, differently that I accidentally merged here, but we, it's not going to bother anything because it's not actually inside of the, of the other model. Uh, but that happens sometimes if you accidentally leave one of those chunks uh, checked off when you're making the alignment. Uh, and then lastly, what you'll do is merge them. So once you've got what you want and you're ready to commit to it, you will go up here, Workflow, Merge Chunks, Make sure just those two chunks that you're willing to merge are checked off. And if we're going to just have our dense clouds and then rerun the rest of it, you have that just checked off. If you do want your meshes and then just run the texture after that, leave that checked off. But my advice is to go back to your dense cloud and then rerun the mesh. So I'm going to go ahead and merge the, den the dense clouds from these two chunks. Boop. Yep, and there you go. So now we've got that new chunk developed here at the bottom of your list. Um, this is the merge chunk that combines both the top and bottom. 
and it looks like a, a bunch of these you know, regions are around it. The reason why there's multiple regions is because you're still visualizing um, those, those, that alignment, essentially. So if we uncheck that, it becomes cleaner, and it's literally just the merged chunks. So now we have our full spherical view of our object. Um, we can spend a little time here, maybe cleaning up extraneous points like that there. Maybe I want to do a little more work right in there, getting those points uh, eliminated. But then you run the rest of the workflow, running a mesh and then running a texture. And you should have yourself this full spherical view of your object. So thanks for watching.